So it was Caruso a little in front of third base and swung on on the outside pitch and Laval gets her first strike out of the game. He strikes out McLaughlin for the second out of the inning. Back in time, so that's a good call right there. And swung on a miss there as the Valley able to strike Leclerc out for the second out in the inning. We've got, we've got the potential for big play coming up here on this next pitch. 3-2 pitch, swung on. Pop fly here into right field. Garcinski again under it, four out number two, gonna fire home. Play at the plate and tagged out. And a double play by the Penman will end the inning here and still scoreless here. Well, you can definitely tell how fired up Robitai is after that play. Hey. Incredible play by Garcinski and right as we go to the Bob in the sixth. On pitch number 90 for the Valley. And a ground ball to Crusoe at second. Gonna fire the second off for one to first. And a double play. And that helps out LaValle big time there. And Crusoe started the whole playoff. And swing and a miss by Levitt. And LaValle gets a strikeout here for the second out of the inning. Six if you include this one. And swing and a miss by Wilson. And a heck of a pitch by LaValle there. Gets the first out of the inning. And I think if you're going to try it, I think you got to push this ball down the first baseline. And Bun here, going to stay fair. Jim Gojan safe at third. 3-1 pitch. And that's low, and Torsell walks here to load up the bases for Sarah Lavalley. Bases loaded, zero outs. The 1-2 pitch. Swung on into left center field, and that's off the wall. And the runner comes around, and that'll end game one here, folks. As Sarah LaValle walk off, RBI single is the game winner. We get started in game two here, playing 13 games, 11 starts, five and five record, and a 3.98 ERA. And she gets the first strikeout of the game as she strikes that leadoff hitter, Amanda Bickford. Torsiello catching, Morrissey first, Bulldog second, Pergo short, Crusoe third, Hruchi left, Hannon at center, and Garzinski in right. And Gublin gets her second strikeout of the game so far. Struck out Levitt right there. For the Hawks, with the exception of their pitcher. And swing and a miss. And Gublin, a tremendous start here. Strikes out. One, two, three. And the two, two pitch. Grounded down the third baseline, fair as Perigo going around second here and gonna have a stand up triple here with one out in the bottom of the first. And swung on, a little pop fly here down the right field line. Right fielder comes in, drops it. And Perigo comes around and scores. First pitch. To Merle, back goes Haruchi, back to the track and off the bottom of the wall here. One run scores, another run coming around from third, the throw in. And a two RBI double by Merle here and puts Sainez up 2-1 now over the penman here in the top of the third. And a rip, high ball to left center field, back going Haruchi, dives for the ball, misses it, coming around third. Is Bickford and a RBI double by Levitt here. Gives the Hawks another run. Now lead three to one. And a rip way up and gone as just Horsiello takes Hennequin yard here. An absolute shot into left field. Indeed. Well, that's you got it. Well, that's definitely a confidence builder for the Penman as Torsiello just gets a hold of one here. And the 0-2 pitch, swung on a miss. And Martin gets three straight outs and strikes out Chris Yohm to end the inning here. And St. Anselm strands two runners on. And we go to the bottom of the sixth, still 3-2 game. And they'll bring up Bulldog here, one down. And a rip 
into left field. Back goes left fielder back and over the fence. And Lindsey Bulldock ties up the game here in the bottom of the sixth with a shoulder shot home run. Back to back innings where the Penman have taken Hennekin deep. This and rip into center field. Go back of the center fielder back over the fence. And Lavalley walks off again here in game two. What a game for, forget that, what an afternoon for Sarah LaValle. Two games, a winning, a win as a pitcher, and two walk-off hits.